Moving on, county governors have been challenged to exercise financial prudence in implementing a 132 billion shilling post-COVID recovery strategy. President Urukinyati presiding over the launch of the three strategy cautioned governors governors against wasteful expenditure, rallying them to focus on implementing strategies that will cushion Kenyans against social economic disruptions occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, Safina Chingoma has the details of the recovery plan by county governments. The Council of Governors presents to you County COVID-19 Social Economic Reengineering Recovery Strategy. The launch of the three-year Social Economic Reengineering Recovery Strategy by the county governments coincided with a groundbreaking ceremony of a 50-story building that will host the G47 Ugatuzi Tower in Nairobi's Halingam. President Uhuru Kenyatta called for prudent use of the limited resources. Fellow leaders, this is not a time for business as usual. The strategy plans at both the county and national levels draw on limited resources that have become even more diminished due to the social economic impacts of the pandemic. These limited resources must be utilized strictly for the purpose of elevating our nation. They must be used faithfully and with utmost transparency and at the same time he called on oversight institutions to ensure heightened vigilance for proper utilization of funds even as he cautioned foreign agencies against interfering with the country's internal affairs but at this juncture i must also make it clear that while we appreciate your support and look forward to your collaboration you must always remember that kenya has its owners and its owners are 50 million Kenyans, and please, I ask you to refrain from interfering or telling us or trying to direct us in which way we should go. We are clear on where we want to go. We ask you to join us, to support us in that endeavor. But do not interfere because we shall not allow. Deputy President William Ruto hailed the construction of the G47 Ugatuzi Towers, which he says would ensure efficiency as all state agencies in the devolution sector will be under the same roof. This is significant because in this building there will be offices for county governments, there will be liaison offices of the Treasury, there will be liaison offices of the ministries concerned, and it will make it, including KRA for that matter, it will make it that much more easy for devolution to succeed. The three-year recovery strategy from 2020 to 2023 will focus on agriculture, water and sanitation, urban development and housing, transport, tourism, health, education, social protection and gender and youth. Council of Governors Chair Weekly for Paranya say they plan to finance it through the county government budgets and development partners. The strategy encompasses five pillars. One, boosting private sector. Second, enhancing ICT. Third, human resource development. Fourth, policy and legislative reforms. The 5 billion Ugatuzi Towers will be financed by the local authorities' pensions trust. If completed, it will be the tallest building in Africa and will house a devolution museum known as the Uhuru Kenyatta Devolution Museum and Library. The tower will have other facilities, including a 1,200-person capacity auditorium known as the Devolution National Conference Center, a five-star hospitality component, and office space to rent out. For Channel 1 News, I'm Safin Aching Oma.